Hey everyone, it's Albie. Um, for today's video, I'll be doing my monthly favorites, and these are all my favorite things from the month of April. So since my channel is mostly reviewing romance novels, I'll go ahead and start with my favorite novel of the month of April, and that was The Lady Gets Lucky by Joanna Shoup. It was like a 6.5, 7 star out of 5. <laughs> it was wonderful, one of the best romances I've ever read. It was steamy, sensual, um, fun, really romantic. Um, I have a whole review on this book. I think it hasn't come out yet, but it will soon. I've already filmed it, but, you know, backlog or whatever. <laughs> but I absolutely love this book. This is book two in the Fifth Avenue Reb Rebels series. I find that you do need to read book one because the sort of like the majority of the plot that happens in book one is sort of happening at the same time as the beginning of book two. So I'd read book one and then book this one, which is book two, to get the full gist of the story and not be spoiled um, for book one if you want to read this one first. So I absolutely love this story. It's a beautiful cover. I misspoke in one of my videos and someone said it was um, an unused Lisa Kleypas cover that was used for this. This is an unused Tessa Dare, from what I've heard. So it's actually a Tessa Dare cover that was never used, not Elisa Kleypas. So yeah, just thought I'd make that correction. I have a few food items that I really loved in the month of April. Um, these are wonderful. They are the Bluebell ice cream, and I like the um, homemade ice cream. I'm allergic to chocolate, so I can't really eat a lot of chocolate things. And I love that these are portion controlled. They're really small. Um, they are 160 calories, but you get it filled up basically to the top. So it's a it's a substantial serving, and it's nice to have a little treat every now and that now and again. I really like that this flavor um, is that really kind of rich buttery vanilla flavor. It's almost like if you ever have butter pecan or butter pecan. I say butter pecan ice cream, but I say pecan. So whatever. If you get butter pecan ice cream, that vanilla almost has a little more of a buttery sort of taste, I guess, from the pe the pecans in it, but um, this almost has like that, that's the flavor of the vanilla ice cream in the butter pecan ice cream, but without pecans, so uh, I really love this, and I also have really enjoyed this as well. This, I think, is sort of a new launch <laughs> for Land Lakes. you know, Land Lakes Butter. I'm pretty sure they just started putting these out. These are the Land Lakes. um, yogurts and they're just called blended light um i've tried the vanilla one which i like but i've really loved this one this one is the strawberry banana flavor and it really does taste like a strawberry banana smoothie it is um let me see 90 calories and five grams of protein um and it doesn't have apple juice i'm also allergic to apple so if you're an apple allergen this one's safe it has strawberries, it has banana puree, and it really does taste like strawberries and banana. It's not like a fake flavor. It's really, really yummy. <laughs> I don't know why I was so serious. But it's a non-fat yogurt source of vitamin A and D, 33% fewer calories than regular low-fat yogurt. So really enjoy this Land Lakes yogurt. I've bought it, um, I bought usually five at a time, so I've bought like 15 of them. <laughs> And um, at my Dollar General, they sell them in there two for a dollar. And that's a really good deal because I really love the Dan and Light and Fit Greek vanilla yogurt. And I looked at Walmart the other day and it was like $5 for four. And I think you might get some more product, but these are, uh, you get six for $3. So it's a better deal. And I really do like the flavor of these. They have about eight flavors so far. They had vanilla, um, strawberry banana, which is my favorite, although I do really like the vanilla as well. I saw blueberry, I think a black cherry, and maybe strawberry cheesecake, perhaps. I don't know. I might try the strawberry cheesecake at some point, but the Land Lakes yogurt I've loved, as well as the Blue Bell ice cream. I'm not sure. These are called, I don't know if these are called the minis, but they're sold like in a, almost like um like the plastic sleeve you get your bread in and you can get solid vanilla you can get solid chocolate or you get um six vanillas and six chocolates my mom likes the chocolate ones i think my dad does too but i love the vanilla one so if you have family 
that wants um, a mixture, they have that option as well. And I don't think the price was too bad. These are great for, you know, um, I think Memorial Day is coming up and 4th of July and Flag Day <laughs> or even just, you know, family barbecues in the summer or whatever. I think these are a great option, especially for little kids because, I mean, well, adults too, but, you know, a little kid can get like a little legit spoon for your tea and feel like it's a big old tub of ice cream and really it's a pretty good solid amount. <laughs> so I love that. Um, my next items are beauty. I didn't really have too many standout favorites. And I didn't have been purchasing a lot of new things, which I don't think to do a favorites video, you need to necessarily buy new things. A lot of stuff I like are just things I love around my house that I don't, um, you know, I don't, I want to broadcast, but I like them. Um, so I'll start with, um, my, what is this called? <laughs> Brow, brow pen, brow, I don't know, eyebrow thingy. I don't know what you call them. Eyebrow pencil, I guess. Um, this is the Rimmel London and it's the Brow This Way Full and Sculpt Eyebrow Definer. It's one of those um, crayon ones, which I like. I'm almost out. That's all I have left. Um, this is the shade, I think this is called Blonde. It's really dark though. It doesn't look as dark swatched, but like on my eyebrows, they look kind of a little darker than usual. I like that this blonde is like actual blonde. It's more of a red blonde, but a lot of times with blonde eyebrow pencils, they almost have a green cast or like a moss color and they they can look legit green on your eyes. Um, I, I bought this on Amazon and I believe it was either $2 or $2.99 and um, this is Rimmel London. I do really like it. I actually bought, do I have it over here? I don't know. Oh. I bought a new one just to try because I saw this idea and thought it would be fun to try. And I bought the NYX Thick It, Stick It, Thickening Brow Mascara. I bought the shade Auburn. I tried it yesterday and there was a good um, color match. The blondes were two of like that gray, green color. And then like the other browns were going to be way too dark. So I thought my hair kind of is a dark blonde, light brown <laughs> Auburn. It's kind of... It changes colors. Like today, it's looking a little redder. Like if I lift up this hair in the light, it's not too off from this Auburn. So I don't have a review on that yet because I just tried it once, but so far it was pretty good. Um, what I like about this though is it's the double ended. So you have your spoolie on the one side to brush through and kind of distribute, distribute and soften up the product. And then you have the twist up like crayon. But like I said, I'm almost out of it, and I'm pretty sure I only used it for like a month, so it goes pretty quickly, and I'm not one that really colors in my eyebrows. I kind of just go loop, loop, and then kind of just you use the spoolie to rub it in. I don't like thick eyebrows. I pluck my eyebrows still. Um, I find with my face, when I do like a full brow, like I had sort of at the beginning of my channel, I kind of did like a no pluck thing <laughs> and had them really full. It made my face really heavy and made me seem a little angry. I just felt like it was very stern. And so I like to arch my eyebrows and pluck them. I did get a little overzealous after I watched Pam and Tommy on Hulu because Pamela Anderson, especially at the time, that's just such a beautiful makeup look. The over the skinny eyebrows with the dark, like gray navy eyeshadow is just really pretty. <laughs> and so I plucked my eyebrows pretty severely, but um, they're going back a little bit, but, you know, it happens. Um, I got, like, mascara on this, so let me just wipe it off. This is a game changer. So, I can't remember her name. If I remember, I'll put her, um, her TikTok username in my description. She is an Australian makeup artist. You might have seen her. She's got, um, blonde hair, blue eyes. She's got that really pretty, like, oval face and, like, a naturally tan skin. It's not artificial, but it's not, like, sunburned. It's just, like, beautiful... You know, she's lived in Australia, <laughs> sort of thing. And she talked about the importance of an eyelash primer. And I was like, you know, I don't know. But she really did show a big difference. And so I bought the CoverGirl Lash Blast Amplifying Primer. And I love it. Like, it's not really showing up too much if I do here. But it does make a difference. And 
like when I first do it, my eye, my eyelashes do fall a little bit, I think just from the, the water or whatever in the mascara. But when I first get it all on, I look like Janet from the Muppets. <laughs> and it just goes on like a white, clear, chunky, and you do it just like mascara. This to me smells like cake batter. I don't know if it's supposed to smell like cake batter, but it does and I'm not mad at it. <laughs> but, so I digress, excuse me. So you put it on your eyelashes just like mascara. I don't let it sit too long because it gets hard and clumpy. Um, so I give it like, I put it on the one lash, I put it on the other lash, I give it maybe five to 10 seconds after the second lash is done. And I put on my mascara on this eye and then I go to this eye and it's beautiful. They're thick, they're full. Um, they're not clumpy. It seems to help really thin them out. I use the, let me get it out. I have my mirror right here, sorry. I was doing my makeup here. Um, I love the CoverGirl Flourish by Lash Blast. I play the shade brown. And I love that it has a really skinny wand. I also love that their brown is legit brown. It's not black brown. It's um, like a soft chalk, uh, not even like milk chocolate brown. So not even dark chocolate. Like that just creamy brown. <laughs> and I really do love it. Um, one, it's a good price. They're like $6. And I've looked at, I think it's called Made for Redheads, which I'm not a redhead, but you know, sometimes redhead stuff looks a little better on me because I'm pretty fair. I have semi-fair-ish, dark blonde, light brown, reddish hair. So a lot of that can work on me. But those um, like Auburn um, mascaras are like $15. And I was like, the CoverGirl works. It's cruelty free, which I really do. I don't have everything in my makeup wardrobe uh, cruelty free, but I really would love to when I when I can have the choice between a, a cruelty free and not cruelty free brand. I try to get um, cruelty free. So yeah, the L'Oreal foundation I love is not cruelty free, but I can't find anything else that works that's in my budget. So it's been you know you have to make do where you can, I guess, unfortunately. But hopefully everything can be um, cruelty free soon. This is another thing that sadly is not cruelty free, but I bought it before I sort of knew it. it well, you know what? It could be cruelty free. I don't think it is though. I'm not sure. But it's it's iconic. It's from 1935. It's the original formula Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. And I learned a trick from YouTubers that had really oily skin, especially in the summer months and stuff, that um, if even with powder foundation, if you get just a tiny bit, I mean, I do like not that small, but I do really small amount. And I put the this on after I've done my concealer and um, color correctors and stuff. I put I have a big fluffy brush and I just tap it in the stuff that I've <laughs> the powder that I've let out and I just do my T zone on my forehead and then around my around my nostrils and under my eye and I bring it down my smile lines because I get pretty deep smile lines. I know how tragic I smile. <laughs> and um, that really does help to make my makeup last a little bit longer and stay a little bit matter. And I really enjoy that. And it's really not even a 30 second step to add and it gives a really great benefit. So I've liked putting um, a little bit of loose face powder on before foundation and like I said I use a powder foundation right now I've been loving the L'Oreal infallible fresh wear I think it's called waterproof foundation it's the iconic red one from um, TikTok that went viral like last year and um, I've loved it it's a great option over Mac I love my Mac powder foundation the studio fix but it's I think it's $37 now and, you know, replacing that every six to eight, even nine weeks, because I, I use makeup, but I don't use a lot of it every day. But still, you know, it's something I use every day, so it's going to get, you know, worn, it's going to get used up. And $37 is a lot to replace it. You know, basically, let's say four to six times a year, that's a, that's a good amount of change. And I can get the L'Oreal... For full price, it's 15 so that's already over half off. But I get it on Amazon, and right now, um, the shade I wear, which is shade 20, 
Um, I can wear shade 5 as well. Surprise. Uh, it's just so I get a little too ghostly. So I'm in shade 20, which I believe is called Ivory, but it's 020. And um, I've loved it. And it's been really pretty on my skin. It really does give almost a poor, poor blurring airbrush effect on my skin. And I don't use a, um, a moisturizer or anything, even though I have oily skin. I use my sunscreen every day. And my sunscreen is basically my primer and my moisturizer. And I put that on first, you know, you've seen me do it. And I have really pretty skin afterward, in my opinion. You might be like, ooh, that's pretty, but I like it. <laughs> All right, I've digressed. I've talked too much about it. I have one more item that I've loved. And I've seen these all over. I actually have kind of a jumbo one in my hair now for fun. I don't know. Maybe I look like I'm trying too hard. <laughs> but um, I think these are just called like makeup clips. So you put these in your hair when you do your makeup. I like them when I wash my face. I recently, I don't know if you can kind of sell, see, I cut my bangs a little shorter so they don't go up in my hair when I clip it up to wash my face and stuff. And so I bought this set on Amazon. I love this color here. It's like purple. It actually really matches my shirt. Also matches the lady gets lucky. <laughs> and it was a four pack for $4.99 on Amazon. And these are just really pretty. So these aren't necessarily to get these as my favorite, but I like this item. And they actually had some, and I bought them. Let me get them. They're trying to go under my makeup. They have Matt Dollar Tree, or Dollar and a Quarter Tree, as I call it. <laughs> so you can get the same idea at Dollar Tree for a dollar and a quarter. You can get four. And they have this kind, which are like thicker, um, solid. They didn't have any as pretty as this, but they did have some like kind of clear with glitter. And these don't, or allegedly are not supposed to uh, leave a crimp or crease in your hair. And that's why you can do them for your makeup and not have um, issues. And yet, yeah, even the Dollar Tree ones don't have um, claw, like those teeth or whatever, to um, crimp your hair. So it's basically used to help. Get your hair off your face for makeup application or washing your face or even, you know, I just want to clip my hair, you know, and not have a crimp or crease. So, yeah, I really love those. So, those have been my monthly favorites for the month of April. Hard to believe it's going to be May soon. Or it is actually May already. I'm filming this May uh, 7th, I guess. <laughs> well, everyone, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon. Don't forget to like, subscribe, as well as comment. And yeah, leave down below in the comments, what was your favorite item from the month of April? Was it a food item? Was it a beauty item? Was it a book? What was your favorite thing that you enjoyed in the month of April? Let me know in the comments below. Well, have a good day and I'll see y'all soon. Bye everyone.